Hi guys, this is Shelly with TeenKing247.com coming to you with your quick tip for this Friday. And today I'm going to give you three reasons why you need a blog. Uh, see, if you're in business for yourself, whether you are building a business from the ground up or you're in direct sales or you're partnered with somebody else and the company has already been established, you should look into or invest in having a blog. And here's why. Three reasons why you need it. Number one, it's yours. It's yours. It's your domain. It's your space. It's your um, content. And by that, I mean, whatever expertise, advice, or information you have that you want to share with those that you desire to connect with or already connected with, that's where you can do that. Now, you may be saying, I can do that on social media. Yeah, you can, but your account also can be shut down at any given moment by social media. And then where's your content? You don't have it because it don't belong to you because that wasn't your space. So number one reason is because it's yours. You own it. It's your domain. It's your content and it's your space. It's where you can be free to write and give value how you see fit to your followers. Number two, two, not three, two, um, it allows you to showcase your expertise. Like I said, on your blog, you're going to be writing content that will give value to those who are following you or those who stumble upon your blog simply by just searching for things that you are possibly writing about. There is where you can showcase and where you can shine to show your authority in your specific niche market. And that's exactly what you want to do in order to attract those that may not be connected with you on social media. They have to find you some way, shape or form. And the only way they're going to be able to do that is through organic searches. Think for a moment what you do when you're looking for something on the internet. Yeah, you may result to searching for it on social media, but nine times out of 10, you're going to Google it. And what Google will do is give you organic searches results from people's content that's all over the internet, not just social media. It could be YouTube videos. It could be blogs. It could be articles. These are things that you should be um, delving into outside of social media so that you can get your presence known outside of that arena. There are people all over the internet that are looking for information that you possibly have, but they're not going to find it if you remain on social media and share your expertise and your knowledge only in that arena. Get a blog so that you can begin giving value to that audience that's looking for you. And then thirdly, it allows you to build relationships. Like I said, there are people out there, there are millions of searches that are being performed on a daily basis, and they are looking for what it is that you have to share. Once they find your blog, they will have an opportunity to connect with you. They may connect with you on social media, or they may opt into your list. And on your blog, you can have a subscription service enabled so that people can opt in, as they say, to your list so that they can be notified or they can be informed of when you got new content coming out. That's an awesome thing because that list is yours. You own it. Just because you have friend lists or followers on social media, you can't take that content nowhere with you because it does not belong to you. So I hope this the, the underlying uh, presence of this episode is sinking in with you is that you may promote on social media and you may put out content that's giving value to your audience, but none of it is anything that you can claim for yourself. Get a blog on your own domain so you can start writing and giving out content that belongs to you that nobody can take away and begin building relationships with people that may not be connected with you now on social media and looking for you in other arenas. 
but will find you when they find your content through organic searches. I hope today's quick tip was helpful to you. If it was, we appreciate you leaving your comments below. Let us know what you took away, what your aha moment was. If you are watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and let us know that you appreciated today's episode. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe, hitting that little red button down the bottom so that you can be notified when new episodes go live. And as always, you can go over to the blog to get the school, full scoop on today's episode. Until next time, this is Shelly with Teen King247.com telling you to stay in it to win it. You guys have a great day.